Hello everyone, this is Yavin and welcome to Laravel Library Manual System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to let the admin delete the data, book data from here with a delete confirmation message. So first of all, let's then have a delete option over here. So let's go back to our code and we'll go to our show underscore book.blade.php and over here, uh, let's go and add a table header. So let me just copy this. We'll paste it over here and we'll say over here, uh, it will be delete, delete and let me just go down and for this delete, we are going to have a table data over here. So uh, we're going to mention a TT here. Then in this TT, we're going to say uh, anchor tag. And in this anchor tag, we're going to say delete. And for this anchor tag, we're going to mention a bootstrap class and the class name will be ptn, ptn, it will be danger. Save. Right now, let's go back, refresh. And there you can see we have a delete button for each book data. So right now, what we want is that when the admin click on this delete button, it will delete a specific data. So let's go back. And here you can see href. In this href, we'll give to second bracket. Then we'll say here urn to first bracket to single quotation. And we are going to say book underscore delete. And we also need to get the specific book ID. So for it, we'll give a comma here. And here you can see we use dollar book in the for each loop uh, to get the book data. So for it, here we'll say dollar book this arrow sign will say id so using dollar book we'll also be able to get the book id as well so let's save this and right now we'll go to our web.php and let me just copy this route route get control c then we'll paste it over here and the url name was uh, i give book underscore delete so we are going to say over here book underscore delete and we are also sending the id from there so we need to cast the id over here we we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be book underscore delete so let's go to our admin controller and in this admin controller we are going to say public function book underscore delete we'll cast the id we we'll say here dollar id then we we'll give to second bracket and here we are going to say uh, declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we'll mention that book model name we say book our clone fine to first bracket dollar id so first of all uh, here we are trying to get the specific id that we want to delete and then we are storing it in this dollar data variable and after it we're going to say here dollar data this arrow sign delete and after deleting it, we want the user to stay on the same base. So we'll say here return, redirect to first bracket, this arrow sign back. And we'll also show a message. So we say here with to first bracket to single position, we'll say here message. And the message will be, uh, let's say over here, book deleted successfully indeed with the same flow so right now we need to uh, after deleting the data we need to cast this message book deleted successfully so for it we are just going to copy the code from uh, our category page category.bait.php and if we just go down over here you can see we have a if condition over here so i'm just going to copy this Control c and i will just paste it uh, let me just go a little at the top i'll paste it uh, let's say over here let's say i'll paste it over here so from the admin controller we are just saying that after deleting the data book data we want to stay on the same page and the message will be this one book deleted successfully and the message will uh, receive over here so we are first checking if there is any message if message then show me the message with the close button so right now let's set this and let's go back to our 
browser then let me just refresh over here and let's say we want to delete the first one so if we now click on this delete button there you can see it reloaded and here you can see book deleted successfully and we can close the message and here you can see and here uh, right now what we do is set when someone click on this delete button it will ask for a confirmation message a sweet alert confirmation message so for it uh, just like we did in the previous tutorial uh, for the category I show you how we can use sweet alert confirmation message uh, we'll do the same for this tutorial as well we are going to show over here uh, sweet alert CDN link and we'll come over here cdnjs.com copy this CDN link from here and we'll go back to our uh, show underscore book dot blade dot php will paste that cdn link in the head section and after that let me just go down after that here you can see the delete button and for this delete button what we are going to do is we are going to say over here on click equal to confirm meshel to first bracket and in this we are going to set event that's all and after that we need to write some skip code so let me just go down and at the end we are going to say over here after this footer at the end we are going to say here skip and in this skip i am going to paste some code from the previous tutorial so if i just go to the uh, category.grade.php and if we just go down there you can see we have some code let me just zoom out from here there you can see uh we have some skip code over here let me zoom out a little bit more there you can see we have a few line of skip code over here so i'm going to copy this and i will also give this code in the comment section as well and i'm going to paste this inside this uh show underscore book dot blade dot php over here inside this skipped section okay so here what we are checking is that whenever someone click on this delete button it will call this confirmation function this confirmation function will stop our browser from reloading then it will get the href href link which is uh, this one and after that it will uh, show it in the console and this is the sweet alert message that are you sure to delete this you won't be able to revert this this icon called warning this button and desert mode 2 and if someone cancel then it will stay on the same base okay and uh, i will also try to give this code in the first comment if you want so let me save it and let's go back let me just refresh again and this time if i click on this delete button here you can see it is asking me uh, are you sure to delete this you want to be able to revert this if i click cancel it on delete the data but if i click ok it will delete the data there you can see there is now only on data so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will see how we can update all those data from here okay so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials